Chapter 24, Bacterial Infections of the Skin, Review from Class in the Lewis Textbook. The symptoms of impentigo are dry, crusting, honey-colored rash, and there's definitely itching at the site of the infection. The physical exam will show a characteristic pruritic lesions on the face, or thin-walled vesicles which could be indicative of a bolus variety. The treatment for impentigo includes softening of the crust with warm saline soaks and then soap and water removal. Alcohol-based cleansers and use of petroleum jelly are not recommended for impentigo. Antibiotic ointments such as bupiracin may be applied to the lesions. Folliculitis is an infection that usually appears as small white-headed pimples around one or more hair follicles, which are the tiny pockets from which each hair grows. Most cases of folliculitis are superficial, and they may itch, but on occasion they're painful too. Superficial folliculitis often clears itself by a few days, but deep and recurring folliculitis may need medical treatment. Topical antibiotics are used for mild disease, and systemic antibiotics for severe disease. Occasionally, incision and drainage is warranted and could be indicated if it turns into a pernicular or carbuncular lesion. Verticals are also known as a boil, and it is a deep folliculitis infection of the hair follicle. It is the most commonly caused by infection of the bacterium Streptococcus aureus, which results in a painful swollen area on the skin caused by an accumulation of pus and dead tissue. Boils usually start as red tender lumps, and the lumps quickly fill with pus, growing larger and more painful until they rupture and drain. Treatment for stubborn furnicles generally is cleaning with antimicrobial soap and includes steps to promote drainage and healing. Warm compresses can help speed the rupturing of a furnicle. So applying a warm, moist compress throughout the day can help facilitate drainage. Also, the warmth can provide both healing and pain relief after a boil has ruptured. Be sure to teach the patient about washing their hands at the boil site thoroughly and frequently with warm water and antibacterial soap in order to avoid spreading the staph bacteria to other areas of the body. They will need to contact their physician if the vertical remains unruptured or if they get in severe pain after a couple of weeks. Antibiotics might be needed to clear the infection. The patient may have to have the boil manually drained and it is not recommended that they try to do it themselves because this can increase the risk of a deeper infection and severe scarring. A carbuncle is a cluster of boils that form a connected area of infection under the skin. Usually this will be cut and drained and ensure that all the pus has been removed by washing the area with sterile saline. Some of the pus can be collected and sent to the lab to identify the bacteria causing the infection and check for susceptibility to antibiotics. If the carbuncle is completely drained, then antibiotics may not be necessary. But treatment with antibiotics is necessary if MRSA is involved and drainage is incomplete. If there is surrounding soft tissue infection like cellulitis. If the patient has a weakened immune system. If the infection has spread to other parts of the body, depending on the severity, most carbuncles will heal within two to three weeks. Cellulitis is a common, potentially serious bacterial skin infection. It appears as a swollen red area of the skin that feels hot and tender, and it may spread rapidly. Skin on the lower legs is most commonly affected, although cellulitis can occur anywhere on the body or face. Cellulitis may affect only the skin surface, or may also affect tissues underlying the skin and can spread to the lymph nodes and bloodstream. Left untreated, the spreading infection may rapidly turn life threatening. The most common organisms include Group A Streptococci, Staphylococci, and community acquired MRSA is an increasing common pathogen in cellulitis. Medical management is oral antibiotics for mild to moderate cases. Seven to ten days of anti staphylococcal penicillin or vancomycin may be given, as well as oxacillin or Keflex is sometimes used. If the bacteria is pseudomonas, then a broad-spectrum penicillin plus aminoglycoside could be given. Usually something like nafcillin, oxacillin, or sofosilin is commonly used. Erysipelas is a superficial bacterial skin infection that characteristically extends into the cutaneous lymphatics. 
It does not penetrate as deeply as true cellulitis and is usually caused by group AB hemolytic streptococci. Treatment is penicillin B or erythromycin given for about two weeks.